for now okay why is O2 a molecule well that is a very intense question why is O2 a molecule so O2 is not just a molecule but a specific type of molecule called an molecular element um, so why do we call it this okay so now there are different types of um, I guess um, different classifications so with this okay if we were to picture O2 right it is two oxygens kind of just bonded like that okay and that's how they float in the atmosphere okay that's oxygen that we breathe so there's three different types of uh, definitions we have to familiarize ourselves with we have just an um, an individual element or we just call them like um, uh, yeah, an individual element would be what we will call it here. Okay, and we have then a molecular element. And then we have a molecular compound, okay? So to describe H3, an individual element is just like an element by itself, okay? Those are things like most of the metals on a periodic table or even the noble gases that don't bond with anything. So like neon, um, calcium, these are what we consider individual elements who, which exists in nature just by itself, okay? As in like, it doesn't need to be stabilized by bonding to anything else. Um, a molecular compound is like, let's say we have, no, for example, H2O, where we have two hydrogens and one oxygen. That is a molecular compound because it is two oops i actually prefer to do this so exactly so we have that oxygen there and then we have the two hydrogens attached to it okay that is what we call a molecular compound because it's made up of different um elements okay now the last one we're addressing is molecular elements because as you can guess it is still made up of, you know, multiple things, but it's a multiple of the same. Hence why it still has the name element in it, because it's multiple of the same uh, uh, element. Now, to tie back to the question of why O2 is a molecule, okay? And the reason being is because although it is the same element bonded together with itself, as soon as you have one more than one uh, element, it becomes a molecule. That is just the definition of molecules. So, like, even if you saw something like um, O3, which is like usually in the ozone, this right here is still going to be a molecule, okay? Because even though it has three oxygens, it's still constituted of more than one element, okay? The things really that don't count as elements are these right here. Things that just go on by itself. So, I mean, not, sorry, things that don't count as molecules, okay? So, things like neon, sodium, potassium, things like that that just are by itself, those do not count as molecules. So, this is why O2 is a molecule, because it's more than one element in there, okay? So exactly, molecules are defined as two or more atoms bonded together. Oh, that's a better word. Not individual elements, but atomic elements. Okay. And there's molecular element and the molecular compound. Exactly. Diatomic oxygen means that there's two atoms of oxygen. And these are the bonded together. So using that definition of molecule, O2, even N2 fluorine that floats in the air like most gases actually from like the halogen group are usually going to be um, molecular elements because they're usually bonded like two like that so with that being said 
This is correct. Okay.